Do you need to have a red light therapy device if it is summer or if you live in an equatorial climate where there is a lot of sunlight outside? One of the reasons that people use red light therapy is because they aren't getting enough natural light exposure and red light therapy is a way to supplement with this type of light in a much shorter period. And now if you are living in one of these environments, you may be wondering if red light therapy would be good for you. Now, I personally have just come back from Bali, Indonesia, where I went in with that mindset and I've realized there's a couple of reasons why you would want to use a red light therapy device. And in this video, we're going to be discussing those so that you can figure out how you could best use a red light therapy device based on where you're living. What's up guys, it's Nick Kutsia here and welcome to the Mychondria YouTube channel. On this channel, you're gonna find videos on topics around light, circadian rhythms, and how these things can be optimized so that you live your best life. Now, one of the very common questions we get from people is, do I need a red light therapy device if it is summer? And recently, as I already mentioned, I traveled overseas and I didn't think that I would need my red light therapy device as much, but I found out there's a couple of very important reasons why you might want a red light therapy device. The very first one is that your body does take a while to acclimatize to a new light environment. So if you're someone who doesn't get to spend all day outside, you know, let's say you're working inside like most of us do, then what you'll find is on the occasions when you do go outside, you're gonna be more likely to burn purely because your skin isn't prepared for the type of light, the harsh UV light that is outside. Now red light therapy has already been proven in studies to reduce the amount of burn and to help make sure that you're not getting that erythema, which is that inflamed skin after ultraviolet light exposure. And this is very similar to what would happen in nature. Ultraviolet light, the type of light that can burn you, also very important for vitamin D, is usually only present around the middle of the day. Now when it is sunrise or sunset, then that type of light is a very high portion of red and infrared light, very similar to a red light therapy device. So in nature, what would happen is you would go outside, you'd be exposed to this type of light and it would activate the melanin within your skin, which would help you to prevent burning later in the day. Now, as I mentioned already, if you're someone who lives inside, no matter where you are in the world, and you're not getting that type of light full body exposure, then you're gonna have a higher chance of burning outside. I found that when I was in Bali and I hadn't had my red light therapy devices sent over yet, when I was going for a surf, I was burning frequently because I was still not able to spend the entire morning outside and I'd also come from a different uh, climate. So in order to make sure that I can still boost my vitamin D levels by getting outside and getting um, ultraviolet light, I needed to make sure that I wasn't burning and the best way that I could do that was by being more diligent with my red light therapy sessions in the morning and the evenings to make sure that my skin was able to tolerate that light. Now another very important factor to consider is that in today's society it is a lot harder to get full exposure of sunlight on your body. So apart from wanting to get a larger surface area of natural light on your body, it's also very important for men that they're getting red and infrared light exposure to their testes. We've done a previous video, which I will link up above here, which talks about how red light therapy or just red and infrared light in general is able to drastically improve the amount of testosterone that men produce when they are exposed, when that type of light is exposed to their testes. Now in nature, it's not very easy to do this. Whereas if you have a red light therapy device, it's very easy that within the comfort of your own home, you can flick a switch, you can stand in the nude and you can get these benefits anyway. There's even a uh, article written in Men's Health by a famous biohacker called Ben Greenfield, where he discusses how he was able to triple his testosterone levels using a red light therapy device. So just to summarize, Red light therapy is obviously really great if you're in a low light environment as a way to boost your natural light exposure. However, even if you are currently in summer or if you're in a tropical region, there are still uses for a red light therapy device. You're able to reduce the likelihood that you're going to sunburn, which means you can get higher vitamin D levels when you are exposed to ultraviolet light outside. It also means that you are able to get a larger surface area of exposure, which is gonna have various different effects, such as boosting testosterone for men that we discussed in this video. If you guys have any questions from today's video, then please feel free to drop them in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed the content, please be sure to smash the thumbs up button. That just lets us know that you enjoyed this content and it fuels our fire to make more videos like this for you. 
Again, if you have any questions, drop them below. Otherwise, I hope that you have a fantastic day further, and we will chat again soon. Cheers.